So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your static website on render. So the good thing with render is that it supports both backend and frontend. Let me show you how you do it. This is our simple website that I will use for demonstration. So it is currently running locally. So first of all, you need to create a GitHub account. You just go into a browser, the any browser for choice and just uh, click GitHub. So if you don't have an account, you will need to create a, an account in GitHub. So uh, I already have an account, so I'll just click login. After logging in, I will need to upload my files, my HTML, CSS, JS file. So what I'll do, I'll just come here to where there is a create a repository. So I'll just name my repository simple website. And then I just uh, click create a repository. After creating a new repository, I'll just need to come here into choose your files. Remember that we had created our own file uh, from this code. It is index.html and the folder name is simple website so i'll just need to come uh, here and click choose uh, my file and then i should trace the path of my file mine is on desktop so i'll just need to come to the to desktop and search my file which name uh, which i named it simple website and then uh, select it here is my file i'll just click there and then uh, uh, select the file not the folder and then just click open then uh, I should give it time so that it can upload on my GitHub repository. So, uh, and then I'll just need to click commit changes. From there, give it time to process. So my file has successfully uploaded on GitHub. So the next step is to go to your settings and then uh, go to where there is pages. Just click there. And then uh, here uh, in the configuration, just make sure you click uh, main or any other other than none and then click save. Uh, from there, uh, you should be able to see a link here so after seeing your link here you should know that you have successfully uploaded your site on github so when i click this link i can be able to see my website on github but the main thing the main goal uh, we need to upload it on render because when you upload it on render we can also be able to connect it with the backend because render supports backend so after doing that go into a render if you don't have an account in, in render you should create one so i'll just come and search render on my browser so um if you don't have an account you'll just need to create a new account but because i already have an account i'll just log in into my render account and i should be able to see something like this so I'll just need to click to my dashboard. From there, after going into a render dashboard, on the top right corner, just click this new, and then uh, select static site. And then uh, you should be requested to connect uh, your render account with maybe JIT, Ahab, GitLab, or Bitbucket. So mine, I have uploaded my file on GitHub, so I'll just need to click GitHub. And then from there, and then from there, I'll need to authorize my uh, render to access my github account just click otherwise render so uh, here just click uh, all repositories and then just click install from there you should be able to see the website that you have uploaded on github remember that our repository we named it simple website and that's how it's appearing here and it has been updated three minutes ago just as we had done so just click uh, the site itself and then uh, from there you should be able to see something like this just leave it the way it is leave it as main and then uh, everything leave it as default and then just click deploy static site from there you should be able to see something like this on your logs and it will say your site is live so from there you can use this link to access your site and now you can connect your front end which is static with the backend apis to handle dynamic logics connect with the database and uh, have more complex features into your website by adding a web app so guys that's how you do it if you find this content helpful please don't forget to like share and follow for more thank you anytime